When Earth and Mars are aligned in such a way that the travel distance is at its shortest, a super heavy booster rocket lifts a crewed starship into low Earth orbit. Tanker starships launch separately, dock with the crewed starship and transfer the fuel for the journey. Once fueled up, the crewed starship performs a trans-Mars injection burn, leaving Earth's orbit to intercept Mars. That journey will take between 6 and 9 months, so the crew will need the means to survive. A closed loop air and water recycling system, protection from solar and cosmic radiation, possibly a dedicated storm shelter. Once they arrive, the heat shield will slow the rocket down in the thin Martian atmosphere before it flips around for a propulsion landing. And then the real hard work begins, setting up life support systems, beginning to utilize Mars's natural resources to produce the fuel for the return trip. Around 500 days later, with the Earth-Mars window once again optimal and using the fuel created on Mars, the rocket will blast off and make the journey back to Earth. This all makes NASA look quaint by comparison. It would appear that the student has overtaken the master. But is that really true? Well, maybe not.